Do you know what the sad part is, Odo? I'm a very good tailor. Maybe it's an experiment that went wrong. That's why they were left in stasis. They were uncontrollable. I'd love to stay and hypothesize all afternoon, but once I've set my mind to a task, I hate to leave it unfinished. To think, after all this time, all our lunches together, you still don't trust me. There's hope for you yet, Doctor. At one point, he turned his back to me, and I must admit that for a moment, he made a very tempting target. You'd shoot a man in the back. Well, it's the safest way, isn't it? Is there, Odo? Anyone? If there were, I certainly wouldn't tell you. And that would be a wise decision. So you can either stay in front of me, or walk beside me. But I won't turn my back on you again. Cadet, there may be hope for you yet. We do it for fun. It's a game. And so is Kotra. And I'd love nothing more than to play against a man like you. Sure, that's the point, Doctor. Of course. What else could it be? That you should never tell the same lie twice. Who's watching Tola? I've locked him in his quarters. I've also left him with the distinct impression that if he attempts to force the door open, it may explode. I hope that's just an impression. It's best not to dwell on such minutiae. Because if he did know, he'd already be spinning out an elaborate web of lies to cover up the truth. Well, the truth is usually just an excuse for lack of imagination. We're leaving now. That would be unwise. You're still a Cardassian, Garrick. You're not going to kill one of your own people for a Bajoran woman. How little you understand me. It's a shame. And the worst part of it is, this isn't a coil spanner. Ah, oh, oh, oh. It's a flux. <laughs>